breaking right now, a major ruling today in the trial of a Baltimore police officer charged with the death of Freddie Gray. On the record, Griff Jenkins was in the courtroom this morning and joins me. Griff, what happened today? Greta, just when you thought it couldn't get more complicated, the Maryland Court of Special Appeals intervened and postponed indefinitely the trial for Officer Caesar Goodson which was set to begin with jury selection today. Because uh, the officer had appealed the order because Mosby wanted him to testify and he didn't want to testify because he had Fifth Amendment rights, so he took it to the Court of Appeals and the Court of Appeals did something very simple, applied the law. That's correct. Judge Williams' order compelling uh, Porter to testify. Of course, this Court of Special Appeals granted that injunction and now they've stepped in and said, this cannot go forward anymore. We also know that Porter's been called in the same capacity in Alicia, Sergeant Alicia White's trial, which comes up next. So what's effectively happened is it stopped all these trials from moving forward. And we wait and find out there could be even oral arguments in this court of special appeals. Certainly briefs will be filed. It'll be fought out in the coming days, if not weeks. We'll find out what will happen with Porter's testimony. Right, and by the way, it's a precedent, first time in Maryland history, that a co-defendant has been compelled to testify in advance of his own trial. Griff, thank you. So what does today's ruling mean for Officer Caesar Goodson? The On the Record legal panel is back. Former homicide detective and criminal defense attorney Ted Williams and former prosecutor Katie Fink. Katie, no big surprise. I mean, we, we predicted this last week. I mean, you can't, you can't force this guy to testify. He's a, this officer, he's a Fifth Amendment right. He's got a trial pending. If it was as easy as Mosby's, Mosby's office has claimed it's going to be for them to say that Judge Williams did the right thing, then why didn't this appellate court say, you're absolutely right, we're going to sustain what Judge Williams has ordered? What's ultimately fascinating about this is Mosby's office has filed documents, legal documents that have stated that if Porter does not testify in the Goodson and White trials, it will, quote, effectively gut the wait, wait, state's right, case. Wait which is the insane part of this. And you wonder what law school did all these prosecutors go to, which is so insane. How do you not anticipate even, this? Even, Ted, even, even if, even if uh, the officer um, had not been, there hadn't been a mistrial and he had been convicted, he would still have his Fifth Amendment right through the appeals process. How are they planning to make this case against Goodson anyway? What are they thinking? Greta, it's debatable what they're thinking, but you're absolutely right. I don't think if it's debatable. They, they weren't thinking. If they got a conviction, against Porter. Porter, Porter was going that? to appeal and he still would have been able to exercise his Fifth Amendment rights. They're I, in a quandary I, I, right I now. I don't know where you find so many prosecutors in one office that don't know the law and where you find a judge that likewise doesn't know the law. I mean, what are the odds? I mean, I think I'd more likely win the Powerball. I think, I, I think you're right, but you know, you do have the law and it's going to be an issue of first impression as we heard from griff and because it's going to be an issue of first impression it'll continue to go to the highest court in maryland which is their supreme court so do not which, expect anything to happen anytime soon there's other officers that have to be tried and it's all going to be pushed back now which is officer white no matter what won't have officer porter testifying as by, as mosley wants because this appeal is going to take at least a year it's going to take some time not a court of special appeal it can be kicked up to the Court of Appeals, and the Court of Appeals can make a decision right away. They can move quickly as an yeah. emergency basis, but uh, but you have to wonder, it's like, what are these prosecutors thinking? Uh, I mean, we're back to that. Stuck again. on yeah. stupid. Just ah. dumbness. That's what you found here. Desperation is set in at this stage, unfortunately. And you've got officers' lives that are out there. These poor officers are, are suffering as a result of most you know coming oh, yeah. out like that. Oh, yeah. That. Well, it gets dragged on, too. It goes on and on and on. I mean, they, they should have a trial. They should have a fair trial. They should have Get a swift trial. I mean, I mean, that's the whole point is to have, you know, is to make sure that you have your, you know, speedy trial. Um, but it's like, I, what I can't understand, I, I can just go back to the fact that when they decided, Katie, that they would try Porter first, they expected, the prosecutors expected to get a conviction, and they knew that Goodson's trial was supposed to start today, but they knew that they should have known they couldn't call Porter at that time, because even if he had a conviction, he would be appealing his conviction. So this is all a little bit bizarre. It's a horrible reflection of Mosby and her lack of preparation and I think an example of incompetence from her office. Any good lawyer has to anticipate the good and the bad. And the fact that they procedurally did not expect that this could be an ultimate consequence of Porter's hung jury from his trial just goes to show a level of arrogance on the part of Marilyn Mosby. I think again it's time for her to reconsider the fact that she may want to offer better deals to not only Porter but to everybody else who's in this. All right, she's an elected official. Right. Her husband's running for mayor, his election. Absolutely. 
Is the judge in Maryland elected or appointed? The judge is appointed for a 15 year term normally in most of these venues. And, and, I then, think and, that then, and then, then he has to be affirmed by the voters. He, 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 well, retained. he has to go back before the General Assembly uh, and, and, and move on from there. How much do you think that uh, Mosley's decision um, is political based on the fact her husband's running uh, for mayor? I absolutely believe a great deal of it is political because she's in a quandary right now. She cannot let Porter off the hook completely because. No, no. If, if it's political, that's so unconscionable. That is absolutely unconscionable on the part of this well, prosecutor. Well, if it's absolutely. political for her to come out initially with a rush to judgment against these police officers before she had all the ducks in a row. It's just incredible. Anyway, uh, Ted, Katie, thank you, and we'll be watching this wow. hopefully.